Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to be talking about one of the ways that the cell cycle is regulated. And we are going to focus in um, on the G2 checkpoint where we check, are we ready for mitosis? So the way that the cell cycle re is regulated is by using proteins. There's two proteins that are going to come together and form a compound known as the MPF, the maturation promoting factor. So this MPF is made up of two parts. The first is a protein that is called cyclin. And this protein was named cyclin because the levels fluctuate throughout the course of the cell cycle. They increase and then they decrease, increase and decrease. The second part of MPF is an enzyme called cyclin-dependent kinase. And the levels of the cyclin-dependent kinase, or CDK, remain constant throughout the cell cycle. So let's see how these levels fluctuate throughout the course of the cell cycle. On this graph, I'm going to have as my time interval, my, my independent access, the different stages of the cell cycle, and a very generic amount as my y-axis or dependent variable. So if we were to look at the levels of cyclin throughout the cell cycle, we would see an increase and decrease throughout interphase increasing and then during M, we would see a sharp decrease followed by the, the continuing of the decrease in cytokinesis. Then during the next interphase, the, cell, the cyclin levels would begin to rise again. Whereas with CDK, the levels remain constant. So what we would see is just a constant line throughout all of the cell cycle. Now, MPF or maturation promoting factor is when the cyclin and the CDK join together. So MPF is two pieces of a puzzle that get merged together. And so since the levels of MPF are dependent on both cyclin and CDK, we would see a pattern similar to the cyclin and it would look like this. So right at the end of G2, which would be right here at the end of interphase, just before the M phase, we would see the highest spike in that maturation promoting factor. And you can think of this as the chemical trigger for mitosis for this particular cyclin in CDK that we're looking at. So you would see this level reach its maximum. That is the trigger for the M phase. And then after that trigger, the cyclin is destroyed, and that's why the levels continue to decrease in this part. 